Hello everyone, welcome. So today I will look at the differences between two new MLA based TVs and that is the Philips OLED 908 against the LG G3 OLED TV. These are two flagship TVs from the brands and I don't understand that Philips is not a very popular brand in the United States anymore. They don't really sell TVs that much in the United States. It's been a while since they, they've they been in that space where they, they were dominating but they're, they're still a very fantastic brand. Like if you look at their TVs and their specs and everything about their TVs, you will see that the TVs are one of the very best around if you, if you if you match them to other brands and I'm going to show you why I, for me I feel the Philips 908 is better than the G3 and let's start out with the sizes the thing here is that the G3 is better in terms of size options you have uh, you have about four sizes you have 55 65 77 and 83 inches these are the four sizes you get but on the Philips you only get in three sizes 55 65 and 77 inches these are the only sizes you get and I think most people will be fine with that for, for the most part but I know some people that want something a little a little bit larger they might want to go for the 80 83 inch model from the for the g3 another big issue with the g3 is that they are not this model is not going to come with a stand out of the box and that's a problem i have said this most people do not buy a tv to go out there to source and pay 150 to 200 plus dollars to buy a stand for their tv people do not want to do that nobody is going to even do that most people do not like that and the fact that you buy this tv and it's more or less designed for you to literally mounted on the wall it's not always it's not always something people enjoy but with the Philips you are getting a stand right out the box you're not gonna pay anything extra to buy a stand and then we now step into now we step into the nitty-gritty which is what you get inside the TV one thing here is that you're gonna get a heat sink in the G3 if you're buying the G3 you're gonna get a heat sink inside because it uses the MLA technology it gets ridiculously bright both TVs can hit almost 2000 days so it's not necessarily like they are using two different technologies they are on the same level in that regard but the problem is the fact that when a tv gets too bright it overheats uh inside and tv could damage because of the incredible brightness output uh, that it has but then again you have to now look at what you can expect if you get your hands on the Philips uh, as well because the Philips have, have, is coming with a three-sided ambient ambient light uh, and there is also a swivel stand with it you will also have a rechargeable remote control that has a USB-C so you can charge it there is IMAX enhanced support and there is DTS play Fi wireless audio this is something you are not getting on the G3 the G3 doesn't have that of course the G3 has brightness booster max it's very important you know that but, the, but then again you don't have IMAX enhanced support on the G3 uh, yes you have game optimizer you have a zero gap design but this TV is not over specced like the Philips 908 now both TVs come with Wi-Fi 6 so you're not getting anything different both TVs have Bluetooth 5.2 both TV are visa compatible meaning both of them can be wall mounted very easily they also have uh, three USB ports both of them they also have a refresh rate that is the same 120 Hertz do you also will have now granted this is where they differ slightly you will get 4 hdmi 2.1 ports on the lg g3 you won't have that on the philips you will only have two ports that have the 2.1 specification out of the four ports that it's coming with um, but you also have erc support on the philips 908 but i don't even think that's a big issue for most people i don't think people need up to 4 hdmi ports that that has the 2.1 standard i think two is enough for a lot of people uh, generally there is filmmaker mode support there's filmmaker mode support on both tvs uh the only thing the philips lack is quick media switching you will have quick media switching on the lg g3 you won't have quick media switching 
on the Philips, which may be a bit of a problem for some people. You know, people need that feature, um, especially people that game a lot. They need that feature um, as well. But regardless, you're not going to get that on the Philips. That's one feature that is lacking there. But where the Philips is a heck of a lot better than the LG G3 is the speakers it's coming with. It's coming with a BMW custom design 3.1 80 watt speaker system. What it means is that the Philips does does not even need a soundbar you just you just buy the tv and you're good to go i don't even think you would even want to go spend any more money buying yourself any soundbar because it makes no sense 80 watts is good enough and most tvs will be very very uh good with just 80 watts of bmw sound speak uh, sound system that is coming in the tv so the, the, the you won't have that with the lg but the lg does have a decent speaker system in the tv but the way they made the lg g3 you you would need to not only mount it on the wall but you will still need a sound bar you would need an av receiver or something I don't think the LG G3 is a TV you buy a mount on your on your wall and just expect to use the TV that like like that and enjoy content. So that's something you have to look at. But where the LG shines is DTSX support. You're gonna have DTSX support. Of course, the Philips have DTS support, but you will not have DTSX on it. There is Dolby Atmos on both TVs, so that 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 one is uh, on both TVs. You're not gonna lack anything uh, in that regard. Uh, you are going to get webOS 23 on the LG TV. Uh, you will get webOS 23 on the LG TV. You won't be able to update the OS, so that's the but that's another problem. But then again, when you now look at uh, when you now look at the Philips, you're getting Google TV, and you're getting the version 12. So you're getting almost the latest Google operating system and you have the ability to up, up, upgrade it if, if, if there is any upgrade for it. So it's very important. You won't have Apple AirPlay 2 and HomeKit on the Philips 908. So it's very important that you know this. You won't have Chromecast on the LG G3, but you will have Chromecast on the Philips. So these are the, the, the differences between these two TVs. Um, you won't have Hulu on the Philips, but you will have Hulu on the G3 LG. So very minor differences here or there, but for me, I'll pick the Philips all day uh, over the G3, just because one, you have a stand, incredible sound system that's coming with it. And for me, I just like the design of the Philips, obviously, and and the ambi light it comes with, it just makes it a better TV for me. And well, before I go, it the Philips has HDR10+. Plus. It's very important. It has HDR10+, Plus. it has all the HDR formats, Dolby Vision, Dolby, uh, Dolby Vision, uh, HDR10 Plus, HDR10, and HLG. It has it, but the LG G3 does not have HDR10 Plus. So that's it. Do subscribe to the channel. Do like our content. I'll see you guys very much next time.